Percy, where would you begin to sum that up? Um, I think it was a, a typical hard-fought away performance. And to be fair, overall, I thought we deserved, deserved it all three points. Um, first half, it was, it was a cagey affair, but I think we held our own. And really, we know away from home, it only takes one chance, as long as we stay organised. And luckily, we took our chance. Give us an insight as to what that moment was like at the end when you struck the ball in the back of the net. If ever a goal was needed in Mansfield season, it was then, and you did it. Yeah, well, it just fell to me at the at the right time, and I just hit it straight in. I don't know <laughs> what to say. It was it was there to be hit, so luckily it was for me, and then I got the chance and took it. And what about the jubilation and the scenes thereafter? Yeah, I think I think it's it's we've been unlucky in, a, in a recent weeks. I think our performances have have obviously improved, but the results haven't. But I think today we got the result that our performance deserved. What did you make of the performance overall in a bit more depth? Um, like I said, I thought we was organised. I thought we had a, a good game plan. Um, we brought Tony all week and it, it nullified their strengths. And and we, luckily enough, even with the 10 men, we still was able to incorporate our, our game plan and eventually got the three points. Aidan White was sent off on the hour. Where were you at that point and what did you make of the decision which, which led to his red card? I thought it was harsh to be honest. Um, he's, he's won the ball first, the ball's ricocheted off the, their player's shin and gone 30 yards away. But the rest obviously made his decision but me personally I disagree but that's football. Back at the other end, a last gasp goal for you, from you, for the team, for the fans. Is that the most important goal you've scored for Mansfield? Um, probably, but it's still very early in the season, so we're not gonna gonna get carried away. We're just gonna keep plugging away and keep working hard on the training pitch, and hopefully more results will come. It's not what the manager said to us five minutes ago. He said you were bouncing off the dr dressing room walls. <laughs> um, obviously, it, it was a great moment. Obviously, uh, it was. It's always good to score the winning goal away from home in a in a scrappy one 0 win. Um, as a centre back, it's, it's it's the ideal situation. Um, them horrible one nil, nil away away wins are my personally my favourite. So to get the the goal as well, it's it's just what you need. You've given a cool, collected, and measured answer, but you couldn't hide your jubilation at the end, could you? Yeah, I, I, I think everyone knows I'm 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 a very pa passionate player. Um, I wear my heart on my sleeve and just try and give my all every game. But yeah, when when the moments arise and it, it, it falls to you and, and you put it in the net, it's, as you saw, it was pandemonium. What could that victory do for Mansfield Town season now, Piercy? I think we've been waiting for that result that just kickstarts our season, so hopefully this is, is the kickstart that we needed. What's it given the dressing room? Well, I think the boys have been quietly confident throughout the couple of, couple of games that we've had, but we just haven't got the results, so hopefully now that we've got a good result, we can build on it. Does it increase confidence? Yeah, like I said, we're, we're, we're always confident because we know we've got ability. We know we've, we're, we've got a lot of good players. I know it's only a matter of time before results change and start going our way. And for you, you're really starting to uh, up the stakes in terms of goals. Yeah, I keep joking with Rose that I'm going to catch him, so I'm still a few behind him, but I'm, 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 I'm going to do my best to try and catch him. Well done. Cheers, thank you.